The High Line is an elevated rail structure that was built to carry freight trains through New York City back in the 1930s. It ran actively from 1934 until the 60s. With the rise of the interstate highway system, the rail line was eventually abandoned. When the train stopped running back in 1980, this incredible wild landscape seeded itself in the gravel ballast of the High Line. Uh, down the street from the High Line for some 15 years before I even really became aware of it. From the street level, in many places, the High Line's not that visible. The track runs for a mile and a half through eastern Manhattan, weaving its way through 22 city blocks. You can see New York from a completely different vantage point than anywhere else in the city. It's completely unique to the High Line. Since the mid-1980s, the High Line has been under threat of demolition, and in 2001, the structure was slated to be torn down. Until two neighborhood activists came along. My name is Joshua David. I'm one of the two co-founders of Friends of the High Line. Robert Hammond is the other co-founder. We met up at a community board meeting where the High Line was being discussed and formed Friends of the High Line with the idea of saving the structure and turning it into a park. Friends of the High Line began organizing the neighborhood in an effort to challenge developers and wrest control of the structure from private interests. They embarked on this journey motivated by the idea that this was something that would be good for their community. In 2003, the group saw great success when the city halted demolition and passed a ruling to preserve the rail line. Shortly thereafter, they hosted an open competition to generate ideas for a future design of the park. That was an amazing competition. You didn't have to be an architect, you didn't have to be a designer, you didn't have to have any particular expertise. It was just about ca captivating people, creating unusual ideas, creative ideas, innovative ideas about what you could do up here. There was the swimming was pool, the there was a mile thing. and a half long pool. swimming pool was a really, was uh, really captivating the, idea. And the roller, the roller coaster, coaster, that was my personal favorite. I was a big roller coaster fan. All of a sudden it was sort of accepted right. that, one, that something, something great happened. was going to go. Yeah, and it, and it was really great moment. In 2004, a winning design team was chosen to finalize a vision for the High Line. have this really exciting design for the High Line that really became a great example of how a community can work together to define what's important for them for their neighborhood. It's a very innovative and unusual park design that's really reflective of this, of this natural landscape. You know, I've had a lifelong interest in environmental issues and the High Line is, is such a strange and rare fusion of, of what I would call urban preservation, uh, historical preservation, and environmental preservation. It's also a, a really unexpected opportunity to create green space, natural space in New York. Probably the biggest opportunity in a hundred years, arguably, in terms of just the size of it. Construction on the project has already begun, and the park will open to the public in 2008. One of the most beautiful things about this whole story is it shows you that, that things that ought to be can be if you just have the will to pursue them. And, um, and I, I find that uh, incredibly inspiring.